March 1st, this Saturday in downtown Anchorage, a ceremonial start, an eight-mile run to Eagle River. It's not computed in the overall time. 53 teams were primed and ready for a chance at a big payoff in Nome. Drivers from around the world came. The field included 11 rookies and three former champions, including the defending champion, Jeff King of Denali Park, Alaska. As always, a real potential for a giant storm out there. I think odds are, uh, if you want to play history, we're due. Martin Boozer and Doug Swingley were the other former champs. Both were loose at the starting line. I've done everything the same as I did in 95. Superstition, you know. Wearing the same underwear I wore. <laughs> I think looking at the, the preseason, the nice thing about it is everybody beat everybody else at least once in some convoluted way or, or another. <laughs> Which means there's a lot of good competition, a lot of nice dog teams out there. Yeah. And, you know, now we take it on the real race. Joe Reddington Sr. This race was dedicated to Joe Reddington Sr. Back for his 19th Iditarod, the father of the race, running at 80 years old. Dorothy Page was the honorary musher. She's considered the mother of the Iditarod because of her involvement in the early years. Dorothy passed away in 1989. Joe has seen them all. He's very qualified in picking a possible winner. Well, there's several of them that's real good. Jeff King, I, I expect LeVon Barbie to do good, real good. And uh, Swingley and Martin Booth, there's, there's so many of them that could win it. Joe Reddington Sr. is on his way to know. And once again this year, the Iditarod sold space in the Musher's sleds. Those lucky enough to have the winning bid rode from Anchorage to Eagle River. Oh, it's better. Natalie and, and Earl Norris have been just great. Okay. These are world class athletes, you know? World class athletes. Martin Boozer, born in Switzerland, lives with his family in Big Lake, Alaska, a community north of Anchorage in the Matanuska Valley, a community under siege this past June. A wildfire ripped through the Big Lake area last summer, destroying 350 structures and torching over 60,000 acres. A devastating event. His family was evacuated. Martin stayed behind to protect his home, a home that he and his family had built. He wasn't going to lose it. You don't want to fight very often, but when you fight, you better make it count. And it's a fight I was certainly willing to put up with. My house was built over a period of six years, stick by stick, out of, you know, out of love for, for my family and my, my kennels. The fire circled his house, but Martin, with the help of friends, saved it and his kennel by using a garden hose and buckets of water. Before the fire got too close, Martin moved every member of his kennel to safety on an island in the middle of Big Lake. Two-time Iditarod champion from Big Lake, it's Martin Booser. Once again, an Iditarod 25. Dee Dee John Rowe of Willow, Alaska, was fighting her own fire. Dee Dee dedicated this race to the memory of her grandmother, Mildred Stout. In October of last year, Dee Dee was driving her husband Mike and her grandmother home from Fairbanks when another vehicle came across the yellow line and hit her on a bridge in Ninana. The impact killed her grandmother and nearly killed her husband. Dee suffered injuries to her intestine and shoulder that required surgery. She was trapped in the car for well over an hour. That has changed the focus of not just this winter, but of my life. My greatest dream is not winning, I did her up. My greatest dream is growing old with Mike. I did her out 25 would be a challenging one for Dee Dee John.